on this video I'm going to show you how to use your financial calculators to calculate the um, effective mark effective interest rate for long term bonds uh, even though it's not given in the questions or the assignment questions okay so uh, we started with the conditions with the calculations first of all they got to tell you what is going to be the present value which is the issuing price of the long term bond and then they are going to ask you the calculate inches but they got to tell you the rest of the information uh, numbers of payments so in this case were five years annual interest payment so five payments in total payments uh, will be based on the state interest rate nine percent and the face value uh, one hundred thousand so the payment is going to be nine thousand dollars I put a negative values here because we use this cash outflow but you gotta make sure that these two numbers was consistent if both of them should be negative or positive if you put these two things into positive then you're going to get a negative face value okay just make sure that you're being consistent now the face value is one hundred thousand okay so in this case we're going to start the calculation First of all, we got to tell the calculators about our uh, face value, which is 100,000. Negative. Okay. And then we're going to tell the numbers of payment, 5. Okay. And then we're going to tell them the uh, payments, $9,000. And that's cash outflow, right? Let's put a negative there. It's payments. And then we're going to tell them. Um, the present value, okay. So present value is going to be based on what is being given, ninety two thousand six hundred three and eight. Uh, ninety two thousand six hundred and eight. Uh, I I press this. I okay, say so the mix by mix day. So it's correct. And uh, that's present value, okay. And then you're going to do compute inches. Okay, here we go. 11%. Okay, this is very straightforward.